Well, good morning, beekeepers. In the last video, we showed you how to transition from winter to spring setup. And this is that same hive. <clears throat> Today, we're going to reverse. And the reason that we reverse is that uh, quite typically, the queen is up here. Now, if you have two deeps, it's the same volume of beehive as uh, three mediums. So typically the queen is up here laying <clears throat> and the queen likes to move up, not down. So we're gonna reverse. I'll go over a few pointers in checkerboarding and we'll uh, install our APOR strips. So let's have a look and see what we have. So you can see they've already finished off the uh, pollen patties that I put in last time. And you can see if, uh, if I can just show you that very little, if any, um, brood comb is up here in the top in this one. barely even drawn. But there's a lot of bees working hard. So this one will certainly be moved down to the bottom and uh, we can go from there. I like to put it on the top cover in case the queen drops out, you're not going to lose her. So, the queen is definitely in the second box. This is all capped brood. Capped brood, capped, 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 all the way out. So this is the box that will go <coughs> to the bottom. And we'll move it there. Okay, a lot of activity. So I always like to pull the first frame completely out and you see there's nothing really going on there. And there. So this will be a good box to bring to the top. <clears throat> so I'm going to take it off right now. We don't want to keep the queen, you know, exposed, have her get upset. The bottom board is nice and clean. If it had some debris on it, of course you would clean it up, take it away. So there, now the queen, all the brood on the bottom, they can work their way up. We have a little bit of brood happening in here, so I'll put this one next. <clears throat> and uh, just have a peek, a little closer look. Now, just about this time of year, when the dandelions come out, you want to start planning for swarm control or what I like to call splits. And what we'll do is we'll take out some nicely drawn comb and uh, just kindly shake those off. And this will be the start 
of our split. Put that one in there. <clears throat> Bring out a, a fresh, aggressively waxed and pre-waxed foundation. And you want to go odd even, odd even. You want to go something that they can mirror the pattern of their uh, home from. So that one looks really good as well. And we want to get, you know, whatever. We don't want to... No, that one's fine. Okay. So you center them always in your box, keeping B space alive. We bring this other box in. And what have we got? Really nothing there. <clears throat> nothing there so when I say nothing there these are drawn comb but they haven't really started okay so there's a the next one has a frame of root okay so I'm going to get a piece of foundation heavily waxed place it right next to that and they will draw that out to mirror that other frame. And another one here. So once again, <clears throat> beautiful drawn comb, an empty frame, and another drawn comb. And in very short order, they will draw that out beautifully. And so on this side, we have, I like this uh, hive tool, by the way. It has a nice hook, helps me pull out frames. Uh, a little bit of pawn, nothing fancy. Nothing really there. <clears throat> Just gently give them a shake. Put it in your split box. So that's nice, beautiful drawn comb. It's going to uh, really help. There's a new, you see how. <clears throat> Newer drawn comb is white, and as it gets older, it becomes dark. So, to put that in, heavily waxed. Uh, not too much there. Nice to be a pattern. And one more. So now this box is going to be well on its way to providing some more fresh drawn comb for this season. I could leave that in there now <clears throat> and uh, 